Okay, hi, welcome, welcome back. It is when I'm recording this, it's Friday, the 31st of December, so Happy New Year's! It's also my first time kind of like recording with my new stuff. I think I'm gonna change out my headphones, but I got these ones. I always really wanted these ones because they look so cute and I needed new wired ones. So I got these ones for Christmas um, and I got a new monitor. So it's gonna be a lot brighter, so hopefully I won't be complaining about not being able to see anything anymore. But because pink and red don't really go, I'll probably just wear my white ones for today. But I wanted to show you them. I also, oh my god, wait, no, I have to show you them. So for Christmas, I got I got the uh, bonsai tree, and I also got Baby Yoda as Lego, which is over there. But I built this. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. You can like interchange it so if you prefer green you can go with the green but i did the pink and i don't know if you'll ever be able to see it but it sits here and oh kind of going down it's been like four hours to do but i love it so much and then we also have baby yoda and baby yoda came with this as well with the little yoda figurine yoda baby yoda grogu has a very special place in my heart because when Aurora, I'm sorry, this is Aurora. When she was a kitten, she looked, I don't want to say exactly, but she did look a lot like Goku, especially the eyes. There's one photo in particular that she looks so much like Goku. And so Goku always has like a special place in my heart. Plus I love the Mandalorian as well. I don't know if you'll ever be able to see any of them, but they do exist and they are here, so appreciate them. Okay, so I just changed out my headphones. Do I need to lower the saturation a bit? I can't tell. I'm so excited though. What did we do last time? What did we do? Also, I'm trying to decide what to do with that wall. I have another post of Joel. One second. Oh, but Archer, Archer has slowed it in. Okay. Well, he has a new journal entry. I'm gonna put it on the journal. Yes, I've worried. This is the photo of Joel I have. I have some more over in this corner that you can't see, but this is the photo. I got, the other one that I got was also A2, but I ended up just getting a smaller frame and cutting it down. But I have ordered an A2 frame for this one and I'm gonna be putting it on that wall, hopefully with a load of others. And then also behind the Joel one there or below it, I guess. I wanna get a load of characters from God of War and Ragnarok and put it there with like these types of frames, the small ones, so I can fit them all in. So hopefully I'm gonna be doing that. And then, I don't know, along this wall I want fairy lights. There's a lot going on. It's kind of starting to come together. Okay, let's finally get into this. So we read that. We went horse thieving, our grief getting the better of us, believed a yarn spun us by one of that grey family, the patriarch, Tavish, a particularly unpleasant one of what seems a reasonably unpleasant family. He had us believing that the Braithwaite woman owned some highly prized English thoroughbreds or Arab charges or whatever they were supposed to be and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots, so I guess at least some prizes were being handed out. Okay, we're doing okay with the camp funds, I think. Lenny's there. Sadie's over there. With the whole gang together. So we got a Dutch one, and we got a Hosea. What is Dutch? Is there a way we can see what the mission is? Dutch asked you to find out more about the bounty hunters at Trulnery mentioned. Isn't that the Lemoyne Raiders? Raiders. Whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. Arthur. Yes. I'm in Womantown. We're talking about voting. Women voting. There he is. The man who saved my hide not once. Where's Tilly? Twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. <laughs> you're the first person ever told me that. Mm. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided. Yeah, thanks to have, me. Arthur. Arthur. You can wait. Oh, Tilly's there. How, how is she calling me all the way from back there, then? Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Charles. Good morning. 
I'm a little gay. Okay. I should have just put a waypoint then. I'm a bit of an idiot, aren't I? That is not on the thing. It feels so hot. And I don't know why. And apparently, oh, the mark is up here. Yep. I don't know what it is. I just, I feel so hot. Oh wait, didn't we come out of this place when we were getting the horses? I swear we came somewhere near here. with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Back to your mom, boy. Now. That seemed threatening. Sorry, I'm trying to get the volume right. <laughs> Sir, this is Mr. Baker. <laughs> A gentleman to see you, ma'am. Sure. In. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Oh, that's a nice dining room. Can I drive? No. <laughs> <sighs> Why even ask, Sean? God, Jesus. Uh, I need to stop the Irish accent. The Texas accent is bad enough. All right, let's get this over um, with. I don't need to be discriminating the Irish as well. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not only thinking as hell about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose <laughs> oh, really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, the more for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to me. <laughs> now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. I feel like they're playing us. They old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? <laughs> Jesus. So, we're just gonna... Drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right then. Oh 
I'm so scared this wall's gonna go down. I don't know if it's just the new monos that work. The graphics kind of look a bit Whoa, dodgy in a way. Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. Oh my god, I feel like that. Sean's worse than me driving. <laughs> what is he saying? Hmm. Quite nice. Sean. Oh my god, no, he looks like someone from Shrek. <laughs> he was, he's reminding me of someone from Shrek, and I can't tell who it is. What is he reminding me of? What do you want, boy? I've. I've. There, there was a thing. A, a, a thing. At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Oh my god, he's horrible uh, at this. Have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Oh, I thought he was going to be looking in the back. I got scared. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. I can't believe you pulled that off. Good on you, Sean. Yeah, I was underestimating him. Uh, He's doing just fine by himself. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people. Oh my god, defense. Did I, I do that? And you I feel like and I did do that. Nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in the van. I don't want to see their legs. No, oh, thank you. Oh my god, is this leg a man? Just over here. Or is yeah, that leather? Or maybe he's wearing here. boots. It's getting so I can barely keep yeah, track of all the deliveries coming in. Yeah. When they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Oh my god, you can just tap it? Oh no. I just coincidentally did that at the perfect time. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Oh, yeah, let's well, just, just clip through the uh, uh the gold. fabric. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real. I always forget how to crouch. Wait, what? What did I do? I didn't do anything. How did I alert them? I just got out the card. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, the horse is like Get a the car change! <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not a That's not scratch. Hamish. Or is it? No, that is not the same god. Uh, quite a place that is, you guys have got here. That's Remind not the same one. Big houses there. Uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks 
Got all the money. I can build quite that fat. Oh, it is Hamish. He just looks different. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Why is he bleeding? I never stopped him. I think some things are going on now. here. Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. I love his hair. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. Oh god. Oh god, we're doing we sneaking. In moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully it ain't rain. Down, down, and that old barn down, over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> Hey, these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. It's so funny, whenever Look, I think of... Once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Okay, wait, what are we doing? Wait, where am I going? Oh, follow short. Wait, okay. There's someone coming on the left. Whenever I think of Joel, I just, I think of, what are you doing? I think of long hair Joel. I never used to like long hair on guys, but I don't know, him and Archer, him and Archer Morgan, Archer Callahan. Sean, where we going? Oh, those are the actual... Drivers, aren't they? Yeah. Let's get this job done I think. first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. I'll let Sean take it. It's fine. On, that was passing. You douse the fields, or I'll meet you at the bar. Try to stay out of trouble. Oh, you want me to actually like do it myself? Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing. That's good. Okay, that's enough. In that area, at least. That should do it. Okay, so there's one there. God, this is so nervous. Reminds me of uh, Abby's day three of The Last of Us in the scar camp. Okay, oh God, I thought there was only two more. There's three more. That's good for you. Um. I go over there, that guy's gonna see me. <laughs> okay, just That? Wait, sorry, what barn are they talking about? What's that? Oh, that's Sean. I don't know. Okay, I need to wait for this guy to turn back around, I think. Right. 
Christ, I'm bored. I don't know. Oh god. That guy can see me. Uh, I need a gut. Try getting over there. I do not want to be in first person mode right now. Are you dumb? Okay. Uh, how do we do this? How do we do this? I need to try getting into those fields. So, that guy's not going to turn. I need that. Oh. Oh my giggly gosh. Okay, so Sean's over here. Well, you can just a quick dousing as well. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. I might as well loot him. Think she'll go or not? Line her up. Wait, what do I do? <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well, let's go lure yourselves up fast again. I'm on fire, Sean! Okay, oh I okay. I do this. Got some horses on the stables, come on. Oh, okay. Not right now, we got cut. Somebody look out. Oh my god! Look at these bars! Oh my god! Is that our yeah? Oh my god. That's so cool though. I, I don't know. You don't get the Seraphite vibes from this. Now you're dead. See? There it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. Alright, come on, we'll take those horses. Free them? We're there. See if the payroll was actually in there. Hurry up. Okay. Mount it. Oh boy. We did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but let's go. I don't know where we're going, I'm just going up here. Maybe. Why did you do that? Let's get out of this shithole. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. You right, follow me. 
It's so weird because lock in doesn't work that well. Not anymore, anyway. Oh god. Get shotgun. Oh, this horse is on fire. I'm scared. I don't know. What does it want me to do? tired but like i'm trying to escape here we don't have time for your tiredness i don't know oh god jesus that turned into a right party you call that a party that right way i got our money's worth darling let's just get out of here first I've completely just forgotten how to use tonics on the horns. <laughs> I don't remember. Sean, don't run away from me, I swear to god. I think we lost them. That wasn't much of an escape, babes. <laughs> Oh the my the fight, god, I'm sick. Uh, I hope him and Jose are riding that there's oh. some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah. Sure. Do you see me? I need a bath. I'm gonna go for a nice swim down the lake. Oh my. <laughs> my nose keeps doing that. I don't know why. Seraphite Island. You can't tell me otherwise that is for Seraphite Island. Here we are. Home sweet home. Can you let Jose know how we got on? Will do. Hey, got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Where do you want me to put this horse? Can I hitch it or, oh yeah. No, 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 I'm hitching my horse. Is this my horse? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, you're really pretty and whatever, but this is my horse. This is my baby. And my baby comes before you. So I'm gonna hitch this horse instead. Or I'll just hitch it on the other post, I guess. Oh no, wait, why can't I use that one? I don't know. Oh, maybe, I don't know if that works. I'm gonna get him to go to sleep. I like having him sleep, you know, just in case he can die from sleep deprivation. It's always nice to know that uh, I'm making him sleep. Hey. Hey Charles, love you babes, love you boo. Let's go. Hey, shut up, I'm busy. Sleeping. Sleepy time. Noon. Eight hours. I feel like eight hours is a good sleep, you know? You can feel refreshed, stuff like that. I don't know. Wait, was that picture? Oh my god, wait, what's her name? Mary, was it Mary? Was that picture Mary you all along? And I just didn't realize it. Or am I being dumb? Whoops. Oh, we got a new journal entry. What's the chance it's just a chicken or a horse? Like a new horse. Cause that's all he seems to like drawing when it says a new journal entry and I get really excited for no reason. He didn't write anything. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, people. It's okay. We're gonna eat just five. Oh my I god. Hello, ditch. I 
What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. Magicians We're in some school. disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bouncers. Oh, Trelawney. Trelawney. Maybe a little Trelawney sounds better. Oh, I never bathed them. No more ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Of course. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. I'm just gonna bathe him. Oh my god, the blood washing off. Oh, oh, there is a lot of blood. Okay. You know what? I feel like we need to have a little talk about games being turned into live action shows or movies. What What is the point of it? I don't understand why. If it's like not a realistic game, okay, fine. But, okay, Henry Cavill, I don't know if it's true. Henry Cavill Davis, I love you. My friend loves you, but no, you can't play Arthur. Why? Why is Red Dead even being turned? I don't. I. And can you see how heated I'm getting over this? Wow, this game is already realistic enough. A film would not do it justice. Why do we keep feeling the need to turn games into films? They try to become human. That was gonna be turned into like a show or something. Why? It's not even linear. How are you gonna make something out of that? Life is strange. Huh? Why? Why do we feel the need for this? The last of a show, I kind of... I would watch it, but I'm not ecstatic that it's being turned into a show. I could care less, basically. I think it looks good, but it will never compare to the game. And I don't see the point. I mean, it's money, obviously. But I don't personally see the point of it being turned into a show when it already looks realistic enough as it is. The show is never going to compare to the game. And if it's never going to compare, then why make it? I get again money, but still, there's no point in it. And I guess like, yeah, oh, like including other people, you know, who can't play the games. Watch the cutscenes. You're going to get better out of that. Honestly, it's like, movie adaptations of books. I, okay, I had this really great book, side rant. I have this book that I love. I cry every time of it. I love it. And it got turned into a movie like last year and the movie was okay, but I honestly kind of hated it <laughs> because it did not do the book justice. And I, even other people who were watching it said, if you hadn't read the book, you would have no clue what the movie was about because it did nothing. It explained nothing. You didn't know what was going on. I only knew what was going on because I had read the book and I've read it like a million times with like my favourite book. But I feel like we need to stop turning things into other things. They are not needed. No. No. It doesn't work. Oh no, what's happening? Sorry, rant went on for too long. But... Honestly, that's all I'm going to say. We need to stop turning games into movies. And Avengers and Spider-Man, that's different. That's different. It's fun to swing around. Wolverine, different, okay? Stop it. Actually, no, it works the other way. Whoops. But stop turning games into movies because you're never going to be able to live up to the game. No. Book, book to movie adaptations, that's, that's a different story. We're talking about games here. Stop turning games into movies or shows. I am sick of it. Okay, Charles, sorry about that, babe. It's kept you waiting a while. <laughs> I need you for some business in town. Come on. Come on. Okay. Sorry about that. I just feel like I needed to get that out of my system because I am sick of it. Sick of it. Oh. Oh, oh where's Charles? Is he not? Oh, maybe he's getting his all somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hey, wait up. Charles, I don't even know where you are. Wrong way, Arthur. Well. Arthur, you need to stay with me. Uh, no, you need to stay with so, me. This yeah, is my uh, mission. Where were we? Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And your deputy. Say! 
Something like that. I want to run her over. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs City, out of I town, promise I you, I actually will. Gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I'm going to try dressing up as Sadie soon. I think it's just up here. I need to get, what is it, like a yellow shirt? At least that, at least. Because I really want to dress up as her. I just bleached my hair again. I've been thinking about going back to blonde. I'm not gonna lie, although I probably won't, but the thought is there, the thought is there. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. How do I use Eagle Eye? Oh, like this. Found anything? Found a track, but it's probably just us. Oh. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 Come hours on. ago. But no body? Not yet. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Come on. Before they get too far ahead. down the path here how's your track these days all right i guess <laughs> well lead the way then not the kind of place i'd expect to see trelawney staying in no normally scams himself into the best hotel in town <laughs> you know when me and javier went down with trelawney to get sean after the bar fight i swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Wait, I'm confused. Why does it say I'm tracking an unknown animal? I can lead this way. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I went yeah. the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, this way. Whoa. Oh. oh wait. Yeah, it is this way. Is that him? I think doing? it's him. I don't know. Excuse me. No, it's yeah. not him. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're uh we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal. Charles, protect strange. me. Sure. Charles is my protector. No. Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Uh, 
All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. Beat. I don't know. I think I have to beat them. Who do you think you are? You stay there. Oh, he's a bounty hunter. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. Fine. You better tell me now, you son of a I'm not playing around today. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. I took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my it friend. It was tempting. It was tempting, but I thought of the honor. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Thank God yes. for that. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward. Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. Ah! I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky Stephen at the same Drake. time. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. So we're using him. That's what you're saying. Mm. It was very tempting to kill that guy, but. You know, the honor comes first in this game for me. Mind you, for some reason, recently I'm being must be very it. tempted to have him go all out. Oh, the cabin. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them. Doesn't look very formal. I can handle this. Go deal with them, my brothers. Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Oh my god. Wait, I thought I had them and I don't. Oh, 
god, this is so tricky. Oh, that's a scarecrow. Oh, I have found one. Oh, there's one over here, I think. I don't know. There were birds, so... Oh, I have found them. Don't know where they are, but they are somewhere. Did you see those birds? No. At least my stamina is increasing. You know, you've always got to look on the brighter side of things. Oh, is that a guy? Or did I? Oh no. False alarm. God, I'm just running around in circles. I feel like they're by child, ch childs, Charles, and I'm just like being completely oblivious to the hint that it's giving me to go over there. Oh yeah. Hey! I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Did I not just look at that? Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. My boy Charles. Come on. My boy Charles, I will you. You should have taken the money. I know. <laughs> I'm a fool. Loot him is what he deserves. Oh, shit. Thank you. Did I make a mistake by doing that? Gunshots are coming from that far. Come on. I don't know. Ah, oh, damn it. Where's my? Come on, you bastard! He's backing off inside. Get after him! Oh God. What? Oh. Good. You should be the last of us. <sighs> the last right, of us. Let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Did I just knock him over? I'm so sorry. Sure don't. Come on. I'm Let's so go see sorry, how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> Where's my gun here going? Uh, I guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Charles always takes forever to get to a place. It's so funny. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Yeah. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Wait, where, where are we going? There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Interesting. Um. 
do want to go to the general store quickly. Okay, so I think we have two missions back at camp. I'm really loving this chapter so far. I think this has to be one of my favorite chapters. I don't know, it's so much fun to play. I'm having- I'm so sorry. Hmm? I'm well, having a great time with it. Next to the cute little dollies and what's left of my self respect. I'm so sorry, I have no idea what you said there. I need more shotgun shells. Fine. Yours. Just gonna sell you out. Um. No. Oh my god, no. Those are actually an atrocity. Like, you're joking. So, uh, you one of those vagrants? One who works in packs? Isn't that what I have? I feel like I have that. Oh my god, what should we put him in yellow? Little baby. I I hate it. What's this? Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Little lad. Okay, let's look at trousers because I feel like he needs... Yeah, we'll get those. Boots. A little bit of a splurge. Seen what you're after. Okay. Index. I want to get some more... Do they not do food? Yeah, here, here. Done. Oh. Sold. Okay. Okay. All right. Done. I'm gonna donate a lot of this to camp, so it's okay. Thank you, kind sir. That should be good. I appreciate it. How do I get out? Oh my god, what are these? Those dolls are horrifying. Goodbye. In need of a good story? I feel bad. Thank you for your business. I feel like he deserves it. Thanks. Have a great day. He deserves the money. So I'll give him the money. I might. No. No, I want the dog. Buy. Let's buy some meat. Appreciate it. I bought everything. I want to have the dog. Hey, boy. Come here. Why is the dog running away? There we go. Hey. Let's try not to kill this one. <laughs> Whoa. What missions are back at camp? Oh, Tilly. Oh no, Trollnery. Oh, um, oh, I thought it was Molly. Marker. Marker Bale. What's this mission over here, the stranger? Hi there, folks. Yeah. You're not the person. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Inquities of history. Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Okay. Jeremiah Compson. 
Thompson stead. Good for you. That's <laughs> anything to boast about. They took everything from That's me. That's beard Who grew did? again. They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things. Yeah, That's I need a cat's bed again. Steal. Look at me here. Living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my Why was house. it green? The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Okay. I need to get him back to camp. A waypoint here. Where is that place? Oh, that's far. I'll try and do it sometime. Probably not today. But I will definitely try do that I feel like there's just so much stuff that I need to do before this chapter ends and I think I'm like 10 missions in now and there's like 16 or 17 which means I only have like six or seven left Come on, babes. Come on, babes. Let's go. I know you're very scared right now, but we need to get out of here. Surely they're not going to come actually into the Oh fine. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Who are they? Who are they? Where are they? Where are they? I didn't mean to do that. didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Charles and I went looking for Chaunery, who was staying in Rose. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who were looking for him and a means to getting to us. The whole thing turned nasty and I, he'd been treated pretty bad, but we got him out of there. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their wake, so we came, so came back to camp with us. There always seemed to be more bounty hunters, piggyters, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I want to get back in the open country of the west or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Stumbled into this old drunk on the streets of Rose. I don't know quite why he made an impression. The world is full of self-pitying drunks. Hell, I hope to grow, grow into one myself. But something about this fella, Jeremiah Compson, blamed everyone else for his plight. Lost his, career, lost his career and his home. Wanted me to go find a few trinkets at his home. Pumps instead, just north of Skunk Meadows. Maybe I'll head over there sometime. I need to shave his beard. Priorities. Did I lose honor for leading them back to camp by accident? I'm awesome. sorry. No. Uh, I 
you keep it as a three Arthur. I know that he can't control it, but it's still funny blaming him. Uh, need to go over to Mr. Pearson and donate the food that I got. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Good, we really needed this. Okay, good that's good. Everyone, everything's all yellow again. I love it when it's yellow, it's so satisfying. Okay, we have some of this to go. Oh, y'all seeing this? Arthur's just... <laughs> You need to keep those horses strong. <laughs> oh my god, Saide! I, I really want to try cosplaying as her. Well, at least dress it up as her. I need to get a cowgirl hat. Can you believe it? I don't have a cowgirl hat. Joel exists, and I don't have a cowgirl hat. Get it? Because, like, he's Texas. You know, cowboy, cowgirl. <sighs> Saide! Hey. Morning. Morning. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. If you say so. Hello, Sean. You did good with that grace business. Oh. Like I told you, I was born, born a hell, <laughs> not a hell. Of course, Sean. Oh, I love it when everything's yellow. play dominoes oh this part has been quite glitchy don't y'all think we have quite a few glitches in it i i i don't understand why people like kind of hate glitches in games honestly as long as it doesn't deter or take away from any of the emotions in the game i think i think they're so funny like i don't know i was when i was doing playing cyberpunk um the they obviously had the glitch with Jackie. That wasn't that is like the annoying type of glitch that I hate because I had to like restart it. Luckily I didn't have to do too much, but I had to restart it and that that was just annoying. But like small glitches like that are pretty funny. I don't know, it's just it's funny. Um I'll probably donate some more stuff. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. <laughs> There'll be plenty more with that <gasps> Oh my god, John Marston. John Marston, why are you not Arthur? taking care of your child? That Braithwaite job was a lot of work for not enough money. I was just doing what Dutch asked us to. You got a brain of your own, don't you? Well, I should get back Look, to your it. son is Sounds literally good. over there. Oh my god, I think Abigail's watching over him. That's adorable. But your son is over there. Yeah, shit. I just, I don't make, I don't, because, I don't know. I think I'm treating this game less of like an open world and trying to make it more linear because I personally just prefer linear games. I don't really like open world games, which is pretty ironic if you think, because quite a few games I play are actually uh, open world. But, um, no, I just prefer linear games. I'm not a huge fan of open world games. I'm trying to think how much to give. My honor still isn't great. It's not perfect. It's to be perfect. Yes. Arthur? You do like a smoke, huh? One of life's few pleasures. Well, if anyone deserves a break, it's you. Okay. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. Oh yeah, we still have to do that they other debt, don't we? Be. 
Okay, and I think I'm gonna leave that there for today. I know it was a bit shorter, but last part, I haven't gotten on to editing it yet, but raw footage is like an hour and 45 minutes. I don't know how long that will translate down to edited, but it was a really long part. So hopefully that kind of makes up with this part being a bit shorter, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love big chapter three so far. As I said, I think it's one of my favorite chapters. I just wish we had some more time with Sadie. Hopefully we still get to have some more time with her in the future because, I don't know, she's one of my favorite characters. But setting the tobacco field on fire, that was so much fun. And I liked how Sean mentioned how I went to the other place first. I think he mentioned it at least anyway. I didn't mention it in the moment, but I, I, I recognized it. And like, I'm guessing if I did it the other way around, uh, so did Hosea's mission first instead of John's, then... John and Charles or was it Javier that came with me one of them would have mentioned me doing the other one first but I just hope we get some more time with Sadie because I love her so much I'm gonna leave it there though thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part of Red Dead Redemption 2 okay bye